Hello, people of the internet. It's your boy, Skinny Penis. Uh, next day, next DD. DDD. Uh, the DD day. Ah, uh, DD days, whatever. Uh, we're playing YY. Um, probably I should have continued with coal DDs, I would assume. But hey, here we are, YY. Uh, it got a new special commander actually, so there. And it also got buffs. Uh, torpedoes got buffed in the sense that you now have torpedo booster, which is really nice. Um, the commander gives you torp reload buff. Uh, the commander would also theoretically give you, uh, or like, nope, the, the commander gives you like uh, a buff on the consumables first with the torp hits. And it also would give you a torp or a gun reload buff if you get combat scout, which is a weird uh, achievement to be honest. Like, theoretically, I could talk a bit about it. Like, it's, uh, it's it, the entire thing is like bugged, and also you have to rely on to your, your team to do damage, which is like. Hmm. I mean, if uh, two out of your three teammates on the flank in in the first three minutes, I mean, who's gonna do the damage for your combat scout, really? Um, also, if I'm like sitting, another another uh, guy realizing uh, another skinny penis enjoyer. Um, it's <coughs> it's also weird that, for example, if I'm in the mouth of the enemy team and spotting them in their base, but they shoot a cruiser in in, in my base that is permakited <laughs> that cruiser might get the spotting damage or a bb so i mean uh, the combat scout achievement uh, being rewarded here is a bit weird because it's nothing you could really go for it's not like a halls a confederate proc which is super simple to get or like a sansonetti confed proc or the kill and stuff like that like those commanders are generally better the commander isn't bad i mean it still buffs the ship uh more often than not um, i mean there's no drawback in, in using that commander and uh, just running around with it and occasionally you get the torpedo hits or the, the combat scout. I think it's like uh, six torpedo hits, you get an additional charge, a consumable charge on the torpedo booster and the torpedo booster reloads quicker, um, which is kind of nice because you theoretically can way easier drop su superintendent now on the DD. Um, but yeah, um, the main thing about YY now or that changed on it in the past half a year, I think it was half a year ago when they changed it, is that it got torpedo reload booster. It was in a very sore state. Like when it was released, it was just a straight up better alternative to most other DDs because it allowed you to radar. It had like gearing DPM um, and the torp reload and the gun reload were pretty nuts because it was like base gearing reload and the torp reloaded faster. So then they slowly but surely nerfed it into, into the ground, um, which is sad, but hey, can't do much about it. Oh wait, fuck, who am, who, who's the spotting me? The shimmer. I'm gonna smoke quick fast. I think I'm gonna reload boost uh, the. Uh, oh fuck. I went to do the flank and made little contact with the shim shim. Like when it was released, it was really a powerhouse of a destroyer. I'm not gonna shit you. I shit you not. It really was. Um, the guns coupled with like the the smoke also got nerfed. I mean, hell yeah! I mean, like they nerfed the gun reload, they nerfed the torp reload, they nerfed the smoke, uh, the consumable. Like originally, it had nearly no smoke downtime. Why am I? What the fuck? The shimmer. What are you doing? He's also spotting all my torpedoes, man. Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? Bro, the Shimmer. Is he in a division? No, he's not. <laughs> I couldn't get a torpid because of him too. He's like, was spotting me. Man, that's unfortunate. This. Where is the Shimmer now? What, like, what exactly is this guy doing? Is he in the smoke? Oh my god, I can't fucking believe it. This is this is unbelievable. Don't have torps, don't have torps. Oh! What the fuck is this gameplay, bro? What the fuck is going on? I, th I was scared he goes for the ram or he has a torpedo set already ready, but I don't think he had. 
the torpedoes were very fast and not that early detected, so it's not the 20 cams that reload faster, I think. Or the 8 cam. It was like the 12s, I think. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? These people, dude. These fucking people, bro. Like, unbelievable. By the way, that guy might probably be radar, because I didn't see him smoke. So I gotta be careful with 8.6k. It's not something I want to really go for. Ah, oh, nice. Moscow popped radar, though, and spotted me the minute we're leaving from the rock. That's pretty good. I can push up again. The questionable now where I go, though, because I can't torp Druid and Trump. I also don't want to fight them, really. I mean, I could theoretically smoke up close to the cap and farm him from smoke. I don't know what our Hargumo is currently doing. That seems a bit stupid. Trump is most likely going to murder him with the drop. Let's see that. No, Trump missed because he's moving forward. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. So this is this Harugumo trying to like one for one game here on one of the DDs? He didn't even hit a tour. Oh, the amazing world of world of warships, I swear to god, dude. It's unironically entertaining as hell, for sure. Anyways, we're going to have a pretty okayish torpedo angle here on those ships. Problem is just do they have hydro ready or not? Okay. And we have a nice torpedo angle here. We're also spotting from the flank for free. Um, I don't have a real booster yet, but that shouldn't be an issue. I can spot for the Moskva in case the enemy starts randomly running at him, so he has a warning. Also, I mean, they can't really run at him that easily, since I'm just sitting here and uh, protecting him with warps, and people are really, really reluctant to push into, as I said, like Shema, Gearing, YY. Those are like the torpedo boats. Like, if you get spotted, you have a very, very big mental impact on the enemy. I think Moscow is going to peek that guy. Right. Okay. This is so dumb that the repub dodges everything. What is it? It's just randomly dodging them. I don't think he's like actually. I don't think he actually knows what he's doing. I'm gonna stay here though for precautions anyway. I mean the the mi the minnow is running around somewhere though. Be careful. I think it's a radar one. It must be a radar one. 30 seconds for torps. No, it's a smoke one. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good. Gotta be careful though that I'm not in his torp range because I think I am. He probably torped my smoke pretty fast. So theoretically I have a torp reload booster for that guy too, but I think my set that I can throw out in 19 seconds is already enough to kill him. The Moskva is nose in. Unless the Moskva randomly starts turning flat broadside to him, we should be all said and done here. This repub will die then. Um, should be fine. Moscow just needs to be a wee bit patient. Torp him. Torps are very fast, super hard to detect for anything that doesn't have hydro. So yeah, that's like, that's a good position that I took here. I can save my Moskva. No, I can't save my Moskva actually because the druid gets onto his asshole and fucks on him. But I think I still kill the, the repub with my torpedoes under normal circumstances, you know. Now I have to hope that the enemy... Are you gonna tell me that I didn't hit the torps? No, there it is. Two? Two torp hits. It's not a perma flood. But that's fairly unlucky. I have 8,000, and I don't really want to fight a druid with that HP, man. It's gonna be awkward. Yeah, it could have been. Like, that's what I said with the combat scout, by the way. Funny that it actually happens this game. Um, <laughs> my entire team on this flank appears to be fucked and dead, so. He has HE loaded, really? Does he get the crack dispersion? No, he just resets the torpedo tube. I want to kill this guy before he heals. That would be really great. Ahem, <clears throat> please. Yes, a fire. Amazing. He's healing? No! Okay, kill him. Hey, never mind. 
Uh, <laughs> hmm, that was a close one. Uh, at least we got rid of the repub. I mean, I have no clue how I'm dealing with the Minotaur and the Druid, really. No clue, no fucking idea. I guess dragging them out like Turbo Far into the spawn could help, because then my middle, my team's, uh, my team in the middle could maybe come back with the Schlieffen and the Yoshino kiting in base. Maybe they can kill Smolly, Salem, and Colombo for free. Maybe. I don't know. Could be. Um, the thing with the smokes is. I mean, as I said, they got nerfed. Like, originally they had like only 7 seconds down downtime in between them or some shit. Like, OG, OG, YY. But, uh, you can still kind of spam them. You get a lot of charges. They don't last very long, but you can at least kind of spam them, so that's pretty good. I am RPF, so that's either the fucking Minnow or the Druid. It's pretty shite. I have 6.2k. I don't know if I'm actually able to gun down the Druid. If I get, like, lucky on his guns, I can, I guess. Yeah, well, I have, I'm left with a Slava and a Yoshino too, so those motherfuckers won't do anything soon. They will just rather camp. It's, it's still 4 on 400, but like, there's no real way to come back into this game now, is there? I am very cautious. Yeah, exactly about this. Don't tell me I can actually gun him because he's too stupid to hit me. It appears so. It appears that way. Okay, we did enough damage that I can kill him with back turrets. Oh, I can just straight up kill him. Well, well, well! Look who the cat dragged in. The fucking ape came in. Oh, that's spamming me since the beginning of the match. Wait, reload on all consumables? What exactly did I proc? Huh? What? Wait a minute, what did I proc? I thought it's like either torpedo hits or... I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Well, what did I proc? Activates after... Ah, the potential damage. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Well, I mean, that's pretty nice. That actually means that you can chain smoke again, more or less, I guess. No? What's the downtime? Version time? Yeah, it's like 18 seconds downtime between smokes now. That's pretty nice. Hmm, it's pretty nice, yeah. Not gonna lie. Oh, you fuck the, the druid. Um, actually, the shimmer cost me a lot of HP, which is sad. I mean, thankfully, the raider, it's not a raider minnow. Which means I actually have very easy means to outplay him. I mean, if he was raider, I'd be fucked. But hey, not that many raider minnows running around lately anymore, thankfully. Maybe I get some cheeky torp hits if he tries to go middle like I do, and I'm pa torping his pathway the entire time. Um, I'm not gonna kill him though, I mean that would be, th I would have to stack three torps perfectly on top of each other to even have a chance. Wait a minute, where are the torps? Nah, he should already have eaten them, I think he dodged with, with uh, Hydro or something, fuck. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean my Yoshino is kiting perma, so if the enemy team tries to run at him, I can maybe torp the enemy team trying to run at him, you know? Like, there's still, theoretically more damage to be had, but there's no way we win this game. That's just not a thing. Um, it is not. I think I'm gonna keep my torpedo re uh, reload here, because um, it's very imminent that the Schlieffen or the Colombo will be spotted, and then I can torp them. I still have smokes to disengage too. Maybe even farm a bit if the Yoshino spots for me, you know, you know. You never know. I'm gonna go behind the Thunderer. I mean, at this point, just like get a bit more damage. Fuck the rest. Hey, shit. There is a Trump. Can I, like, get hit? Oh no. I'm sending all my torps there. Maybe I can get hits. Schlieffen and uh, 
Schlieffen and Colombo are potential targets here. I mean, it's 20 Torps. It's kind of like the thing with the reload booster nowadays uh, that you get the... Uh, I think, by the way, if you if it's the same bug as on, Ho uh, on, on, on Cunningham, if you proc the consumable edition, I think you get one more through the captain and you don't have any anymore. There is no reload on them, so I would be able to inst instantaneously spam them again, I think. I believe. I'm not 100% on that one. Yeah. Thankfully, the uh, the Colombo is sweat lording his fucking cancer ass off to not eat a single torp. That's very. Ha I'm, I'm very happy for him. Oh, very good. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, I missed all the torps. He slowed down and dodged towards that angle on purpose. Do I get enough? Do I even get enough time to send another torp rack on the Salem or something? Oof. Sure as hell I didn't hit a torp. Actual question, how about you actually get good at the game instead of sweat lording in a fucking 2 versus 6 trying to dodge torps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about that? I mean the Trump must be running at me, no? Does the th Salem, by the way, think I'm behind that rock? Fuck, he does, yeah. <laughs> oh, those torps are fucking into Narnia, dude. They won't hit anything, man. They won't hit shit. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, well, I mean... Unlucky on my flank, really, that I'm playing with idiots. I think even the Trump is, like, completely clueless as to where I am. Because he's not running at me. Well, I guess I just let the game tick out. Ah, whatever. If he would have pushed me the Salem, I think I had enough time to get torpedo hits theoretically. If I clip him on the side, he even dies. Oh no, the Trump actually has a clue where I am. He has the clue. The flu. Oh. Ah, game over. Could have gotten like one or two more salvos in if I'm lucky. But hey, whatever. Actually, I fought a lot of DDs here, but sadly my team was just a bit uh, doo-doo. Uh, I can kill the ship all by myself. <laughs> I just did a bunch of damage to the druid. My, if my thunder had like a th 10,000, 15,000 more HP, I could have killed the Trump right there with the smoke, because he was obviously surface lit from the thunderer. Um, regarding my spec, uh, I think since the... Actually, let's have a look at what it procs. This is the main battery, so it's not even torp reload. Main battery reload, that's a co combat scout thing. I mean, that's perfectly designed for the sa... 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 What, whatever the fuck, like the... the pun Asian Saipan, that's like specifically designed for that kind of... Um, okay, torpedo attack expert. You get torpedo speed, you get reload time on the consumable reload booster, and you get one additional charge. Okay, so that essentially means you can drop superintendent permanently. And this is ship consumable prep time, reload time. So you, like, if you stack both of them, you get 32.5 of the reload of the torpedo reload booster. So theoretically, if you hit the first volley completely on a BB and get six torps, six torps it is, right? Yeah, six. It's not stackable, is it? Once per battle, yeah. After every, okay, that's stackable actually. I mean, you're not gonna get that with a DD. Anyways, for the spec, like uh, you don't have to take superintendent. Uh, I'll take a bit of torpedo reload and a bit of fearless brawl. I mean, I guess you could drop these two skills for uh, their RPF or swift and silence. You could do the same with fearless brawl. I mean, if you run radar YY, this is probably the spec to go for. And any, and ironically, if you play like uh, radar YY, go drop this and go fearless brawl and rpf i would say because uh you even though you have radar and you want to fight certain destroyers you don't want to fight certain others so like having rpf is like kind of keeping you alive there a bit more because you suddenly don't have smoke which is like the big thing with uh yy um but yeah as uh, module wise uh i go gun reload i will always pick gun reload uh, not only because you fight better against like the shimmer as you saw i can out trade him better uh, but it's also this one probably makes your torpedoes break 24 7. wait a minute why the fuck do i have radar mod on it oh uh oh i think i had it at radar spec for the super ship cb season that's the last time i played it i guess in on this account oh uh oh <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, we demount and replace. There you go. 
I have a saved up radar module now. I mean, it's probably gonna go into a ship very soon, but we'll hop into the next game. That was a very, very unengaging AFK game after... Um, that's like the thing with... Uh, with some ships, uh, it's like the, the, the battleships that have to AFK kite if your team dies, some cruisers that have to AFK, like cruisers without radar or hydro, that have to AFK kite if your team dies, um, or like DDs that are uh, hybrid between gun and torpedoes, or like even more torpedo focused, you just AFK kite too. Um, with a th that's like, for example, the si that's the simple reason why you love to play Des Moines, Moskva, uh, Smaland, uh, French destroyers, uh, yeah, stuff like that, because it has, um, it, it has always a means to have game impact, uh, actively trying to force game impact, it always has a way to do that. Um, YY here, for example, couldn't. Like, the moment the Moskva died as my last teammate, I was forced into Permakite, and uh, adios, guys, adios. Um, to be honest, if I had a small on there, the entire game goes different. I kill the Shimmer immediately, I farm down the Repub, um, I, c I can l easily cuck the Druid when he comes around the ass, because by that time, I mean, he doesn't even go for the ass of the Moscow, most likely, because his team dies too quick against me in a small on, because I can just gunboat people, murder people. I still have Torps, I still get Floods, I'm on YY, you kind of have to hope. Uh, that there's either no radar so you can make of your floods, uh, use of your floods to smoke up, um, <coughs> or uh, that your Torp Alpha straight up kills the enemy ship, which is again situational as fuck. That's why like torpedo boats always have a hard time uh, have finding impact the more passive or intelligent the enemy team plays, um, or the more hydros they are, because obviously your main armament or way of finding game impact is cucked. And uh, the main impact, um, th like the the highest level of impact, is always a lot of damage really quick. Doesn't matter what class. The more damage you can do in short succession, the more impact you are going to have, uh, because killing the enemy fast always allows you to win harder um, or win easier. Like that's the same thing with like battleships. If you get three cruisers with three salvos in the beginning of the match, flat broadside, and you delete them, well. You kind of won the game there. It's that simple. Uh, fucking hard hitting damage really fast. So, um, for example, why people play overmatch BBs because you can always point and click the cruisers and find immediate and hard impact. Um, with DDs, with the torps, sure, you can torp out no hydro BBs immediately and one shot them, but it's easy to mitigate if the enemy has a brain, <coughs> if there's hydros, um, or if they just play super passive. Right? Like, there are ways to... Ah, uh, fuck you. Pedro, fuck you. There are ways to... To stop that. Ooh, the Pedro. I'm gonna stay in the camp, I think. Fuck it. I will be decapped here, though, most likely. Yeah, fuck. Uh, not fully. That's good. Uh, there could be the Shimmer here. Oh, the shimmer is actually over there. Like, for for example, now when you're in the cap like this, you're scared that there is a torpedo DD here that torps your position either through RPF, prediction, or randomly. And you don't want that to happen. I can't find myself getting torpedo hits. It's fucking awful and I hate it. Dog shit. Fucking dog poop. It's amazing how the enemy already fucking kites off the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking crazy. I think he turns out. I hope he turns out. I, he must turn out. There's no way he stays nose in there, right? Right? I don't know. Don't ask me. Sometimes, by the way, with the Turb Reload Booster, you have a good chance that someone starts ignoring your position after the first set is through. Doesn't happen often, but it does happen. But he didn't see my first set, but he's turning into the Torps finally. Yeah, okay. That was a that was a good prediction. Hey, I'm happy. Yay! Yay! We're going to get torpedo hits! I mean, he's gonna bleed a bunch more HP before the Torps arrive, which is kind of sad. Yo, dude, can you like... Ah, never mind. Four. Well, I mean, it was good damage, I guess. <laughs> it was good damage. It would have been deathstruck from full HP, because it's like 5 torps. No, actually, no. 5 torps only hit. 
I guess like you would have eaten like 70k maybe. The fifth orb. I think the fourth didn't do max damage already. Mm. Yeah. But hey, we have a uh, prey actually with Alaska. I mean, Alaska has radar, but the Alaska is currently killing himself at a rapid pace. Enemy DDs are capping, so I think we might have may have a good chance as to go for the the Vincent and the Yamato because our Conda is uh, uh, their Conda is kiting our Conda and Borg, so that's pretty good. Um. Oh wait, the Vincent is here. That's nice. Really nice. I mean, for 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 for, can you go forward, Stalin? Do you want to get one shot or? Hello, hello. Do you fly broadside to him, my friend? Um, are you okay in brain? Um, okay. I don't know what he's trying there, but if he reverses and tries to shoot him, he's never gonna win that trade. He's like fly broadside, my friend. You're fly broadside against an Alaska. He's no good. He is no good. No, no, he's no good. We torp this first. Actually, we only torp this because he's like... Yeah, fuck, I'll go there anyways. But yeah, having gun reload mod and fearless brought, for example, by the way, really allows you to trade with shimmers and gearings at least. Like, you have a certain amount of DD... Or, like, you can take kite fights too. Like, if you're kited in your... Uh, if you're kited in your DD, and your YY, I mean, and uh, these people run into you, you have good odds to kill them. Like, it's very, very simplistic. Um, I hope I get torpedo hits here, but I think the like the Alaska has to die at some point. But I think our sh Shiki and stuff should be able to kill him here. Be that big of an issue. Yeah, he's perfectly stopping in my torpedoes. That's pretty nice. We will get floods here, and then we can. Uh, we can't really smoke up because he's not gonna be perma spotted. But uh, yeah, I will get hopefully two torpedoes. So I get another charge and reload. I'm going to position here, by the way, because this guy is flat broadside, and this guy is looking like he's pushing in. <clears throat> yeah, it will be two torpedoes, so I get this proc. Torpedo speed increased. Um, if he shoots, I might actually smoke, by the way. Oh, yeah. I can get permafires, and he's spotted now, you know? Makes sense, right? Also, he's going to leave now, because he sees where I am. But then I can focus on the, the Vincent, who is a bigger threat. Like this guy kiting out now, I don't really care. Hopefully I get a permafire before he leaves, that would be kind of nice. Keeping an eye out on the torpedo reload, so I can turn around and torp the Vincent, who's currently pushing into the orc. Didn't get a fire, which is fairly sad. Ah, mm. oh, he's gonna spot it again. Maybe I can get a fire now. They don't have radar anymore, so I have actually a good chance of carrying this from this position. Given, uh, uh -huh. I'm going to torpedo this speed boost out. Shimmer's on the other side, so I think I'm going to uh, perma torp the Vincent. I'm going to torp now with the reload booster because I'm still on his broadside, so I think I have an easier time hitting from here. Going to uh, wait. Is he like just straight lining? Ah, he's turning in a bit. But the wreckage is my problem, dude. Like the wreckage is in a very, very unfortunate place. Tell you what. Is he clueless? I think he is very clueless. Oh fuck yeah, he's clueless. I mean, he has no warning on those torps, really. Does he? He is going to eat three. That's very nice. Yes, yes, that's very nice. He's going to DCP, going to Giga Heal. My second Torp set is out. I'm not gonna open up, I think, because he keeps, for some reason, straight lining. So I would assume that he's going to eat uh, Perma Floods and, torp and die to Torp damage alone. I could assume, I could see that happening. Yeah, he's just white lining, dude. What a fucking monkey. Imagine that's your BB there. Not a good look. I mean, I thought he would turn in a bit, that's why not every single torp set is stacked onto him. But hey, we get a good little... Oh, we got tr three and a double flood. Yeah, well, he's fucking dead. Two would have been weird, because then he wouldn't have died. But like, that's that's a kill. Twelve torpedo hits. Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. Yeah, that's the thing, like... 
<laughs> you can one-shot battleships, kinda. With the turbo reload boost especially, you get more opportunities to fuck with BBs. And in most scenarios, it's... it's it's uh, or like not in most, but in some scenarios there's like zero hydro radar, so then you can play like I just did, get away with it. Decapping him, by the way, trying to at least. Also the shikis coming in for the spots. I will now smoke in reverse and assist my shikishima with damage. That is very important. Actually, it doesn't matter, but sure helps a bit. He's still a con, I'm not gonna gun him down. I mean, that's a, that's a very good YY game, I would say so. Uh, last game, got a bit screwed by the team. This time, uh, my team isn't the best either, but it's definitely better than last game. Also, the, the two Raider Cruisers both kill themselves here at rapid pace. Like, they fucking inted immensely fast. We got two permafires now, okay. Actually, helping here is way, way wor worse for him than I expected. I'm actually gunning him down quite easily. And yeah, now he got settled. He's gonna get like torpedo hits on the Shiki. I don't even think the Shiki will die here. Depends on if the other side of torps went out. But I don't think so. He shot. And you can't shoot and torp at the same time. Yet. So, quick fast. Off to the other side we go. I mean, everyone's kind of dead already, I think, from the enemy team. We also have a Conda already running into them. So I don't think there's going to be much more to be picked up in terms of damage or kills. But hey, 12 torpedo hits, that's pretty nice. I mean, Repub, Yamado, Vincent, all no hydro battleships. Uh, and I can position super fucking aggressive because there is no DD on my flank. Neither is there a raider anymore. The Alaska didn't even bother to raider before he died. It was too busy dying, I guess. But that was nice. Um, obviously, you play around your concealment. Like, uh, YY is... Uh, when it was released... Um, I was like spamming it and I had like by far, like I remember back in the days, like I had by far the highest amount of average uh, on EU, by far. Like it was not even close, I think it was like 15 to 20k more than all the rest. And back then people actually played uh, new ships a whole lot, so a lot of people ended up in the leaderboards. And that was because I just played it super focused in terms of my gameplay on the guns. And back then there was less radar and you had the unnerved smoke. Uh, obviously you had also more DPM and shit, and more turret DPM or whatever, but you had like the unnerved smoke, so you could like, theoretically like just sit in the face of enemies for consecutive millennia, and your smoke downtime was like 10 to 15 seconds in between smokes, so you could just, you just had to make sure you survive that, or don't take damage then, and then you could re-smoke again, and since there was less radar, you just had to dodge like one Stalingrad, or one Moscow, or one Des Moines per game, and that w then you were fine. So, uh, I was super focused on the guns, but... These days, with tons of radar, lots of carriers, submarines too, insane ships that crack your head open because you don't have a heal. Like, you have fucking Condors on Napolis roaming the the server. Also the DDs, like, with Ragnar, with uh, Smaland, with Sherman, with everything. Like, you don't want to open water gun boat, really. You don't want to uh, go for the gun damage. Not only because it cucks you most of the times, like you lose too much HP to be viable later on, like you want to have your HP against specific 1v1, in specific 1v1 DD fights kind of, um, or you want to be able to open water when you actually have hit a torp on a battleship, something like that, and he's like alone, and you don't want to pop to like two overpens. Um, and also giving away, your, since they buffed the torps to a really fucking insane level now, where you get the torpedo reload booster, you don't want to be spotted uh, because of the torps either. Like the torps are kind of your your go-to bread and butter armament at this point. Uh, that's the same with like shimmer or gearing. Like you have to make use of the torps. The situations where you can free farm are just like they are rare. It's like it's not that effective anyway. And uh, it's like th you're going to find better impact if you make sure you're super deep in flanks uh, or really weirdly positioned in the mouth of the enemy and uh, you get broadside torpedoes. Like this game, for example, the BBs were completely clueless. I mean, the Alaska was super far in front, so the Yamato never imagined me to be there. I never smoked up or shot before I got my torpedo hits on him, so he had no clue. Um, by the way, also in general, I would advise to spread torpedoes out way more. Um, like, don't double stack them on the same slot if you torp someone at range. I don't think that is worth it, really. It'd be nice if I get 
to live here, but I think I do. They don't have that burst damage to kill me, I think. Uh, never mind. Um. My guy uh, switched a wee bit to HE with the reload boost and uh, 11 k would me while the <laughs> Napoli shot into my mouth too. Okay, <laughs> we're looking. <laughs> that was uh, more damage than I expected. I the guy's dead, but we got 200k and another kill, but like... Um, I mean, if the if the Jean Bart would have been full HP, that would have been cool because I could have straight up like rushed him. I would have continued going too. I wanted to smoke uh, because like one Torp on the nose killed the Jean Bart anyway, so I wanted to smoke and be dark against the Napoli. But hey, we end up first. We get a whole bunch of damage. 206k is a whole lot for for YY, especially when it's like from 13 torpedo hits, which means I did a whole bunch of like let's say unhealable citadel damage. Yeah, that's pretty big. Um, you get a bit of gun damage, you get a bit of fires, a bit of floods, um, as I said, like, the, the smokes are really nice, because you have five, you can spam them out a bit, you can smoke up when needed, like, if the Vincent wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have eaten three torps in the second set, but only two, I probably would have shot him, he shoots me back, I can smoke, shoot him for 20 seconds, and then my Shiki comes in and spots him for me, stuff like that, like, I would have definitely killed him, there was no way he survives after the first torpedo volley, and then he straight up went into the second one on purpose, and I kind of only have to hit one to slow him down, get a flood, get more damage, and then, like, I farm him with guns, because he doesn't have DZP from the first set already, so yeah, um, but um, you can't play it like I did back in the days, like you just go for perma farm, open water and you smoke the entire time and farm and farm with guns and farm with guns. It gets, it just gets you killed and it's not really uh, not really getting you the damage anymore that it w did in the past. Because even with a gun spec, the reload I think is still worse than gearing. Um, we can compare 3.5. Uh, I think it's like way worse even. Oh yeah, it's way worse. Like, both have a gun spec and YY reloads nearly a second slower. So yeah, the gun spec got cucked giga. And when it was released, it was just an alternative to gearing. It had same reload, uh, but different torp flavor and a different smoke. So it was like kind of And back in the days, it was more survivable because it's in the, it was low in the water and the gearing had the fat old hull. Uh, YY was always low in the water. Now gearing has uh, the same hull, kind of, as YY. It's not exactly this copy-pasted hull, but it's close now. It looks fairly similar. Um, so yeah, gearing... I, 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 I don't even think it's the same class. Like, I think I did an oopsie there. I assumed it's the same class, but it's not. It's like some, a similar class, but it's not the same class. So it can't be copy-pasted. In any case, that's it for YY. Um, if you have the special commander, I mean, you could obtain him for free now. Uh, you should uh, you should try it out, really. Um, it's it's definitely like a smoke spec is advised. Um, radar spec works well if you play in a division with another DD or a cruiser. That's that's when it really can work, can shine, because you're addition like you're just the turbo spotter and giga torper for your um <coughs> for your team. Obviously, if you run uh, you run radar, you probably want to run the ledge mod for better reload. Uh, like 18% gun reload, 20% uh, radar action, like that's a viable option um, to potentially just spec your entire ships against enemy DDs, spot for your team and torp at the same time and you would go for a radar spec, you would go for superintendent. Like I would say you would probably switch fill the tubes for superintendent um, and then either you take fearless brawl if you're comfortable without RPF or you take RPF. But I guess like I would switch <coughs> this one to superintendent to have a fourth radar and three torpedo reload boosters, because I think if you're radar YY, you're going to end up mostly just being AFK torper most of the times. So like, uh, also some maps are going to be rather tragic. That's why, like, I would always advise for smoke, um, <coughs> since maps that have a lot of islands aren't really a great territory for radar YY or torp focused only YY. But yeah, that's it for YY. Um, Sure is a fun ship in randoms these days. It's a bit hard to make use of, but yeah, um, try it yourself and see you for the next DD.